welcome to sports. Hey, it's a nice, nice day at Lincoln Parish. Even nice, we have a lot of baseball involved. The Dixie Youth World Series is taking place this weekend. Well, really the first major event for us in the new Dixie Youth Complex. I got the man who knows it all. The man who knows the city of Rust like the back of his hand. Mayor Ronnie Walker. Mayor, how does it feel to have this thing finally take place in your beautiful city? You know, it's really exciting. It's, um, we've been anticipating this for a year now, planning for it. So to have it all come together this weekend and uh, next week, and of course, in the next week too. So we've got two weeks out. It is very special, especially in our new uh, facility out there. Two weeks of this stuff. How much manpower goes into all this? You know, it, it, I would love to know how many hours. Uh, Haley Payro has done a great job. Tamisha Motes with the complex itself. It's uh, a lot of volunteers, over 200 volunteers, lots of man hours. Uh, we had over 3,000 parents and kids out there today just for a skills challenge. So uh, something big for our city. It's the third tournament we've had in our new facility. Uh, so we just look forward to this happening literally every weekend of the year moving forward. Now, one question many people have asked, you know, how long have talks taken place between you guys and the Dixie Youth people to have events like this taking place over here? Well, we started about two years ago, actually, uh, trying to get a bid on uh, a year ago and won the bid. We knew we wanted something big like this to kind of open our park up, and so we'll continue to, to go after these kind of tournaments. This is a, the two weekends together is about 70 teams. We're going to have some tournaments next year that have 70, 80, 90 uh, teams. So it's big. How much, I've got to think, this is a huge economic impact for Russin, right? Yeah, we did a, a tax for this to be able to do this facility and a lot of other uh, infrastructure. We did an economic impact study, and it was a $1.2 billion, billion over a 20 year period. I mean, you take 70 teams coming in with all their parents, grandparents, aunts, and uncles. It's big, and it's not just for Russin. We've got people stay, teams staying in Monroe, West Monroe. We've got them staying in El Dorado, Minden, even as far as Bossier City. That's a great one point two billion. That's Jared Floyd's salary at the TV station. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, guarantee it's not mine. <laughs> hey, uh, you know, one thing a lot of people have asked as well, did a uh, tragic tornado, how has that kind of slowed things down in terms of construction? You know, it really didn't affect the construction of the park. Uh, that tornado, by the way, was three three months ago yesterday. But, you know, the, uh, I've talked to people and I've said, we came together as a city for that tornado as far as the recovery. And we've come together for this event in a, in a different way. I mean, this is a fun event that was a tragic event, but it shows what kind of city we have here and the spirit of the city when we can come together the way we do and the, the numbers we do. Unbelievable. That's, that's incredible stuff. You know, the, the uh, Dixie Youth World Series taking place all weekend long, going until Wednesday. You have a complete coverage and highlights throughout the week on KTV. More with Gordon, Michelle, and Jared up next on NBC 10 News at 6.